So I'll show you how to make a squid ink risotto, serving it with some sautéed baby squid and a little sprinkle of gremolata. So we start by finely dicing shallots and some garlic. So cut the shallot in half, very thin slices lengthways, one cut that way, and then very fine dice. Then we're going to finely dice the garlic. So remove the skin, just crush it under the blade of your knife, and then just chop finely. Then to make the gremolata, what we need to do is finally chop some lemon zest. So with a peeler, just get the zest off the lemon. Try not to get any of the white pith underneath because that is bitter. And then we're going to dice it very finely, then gather it all together, chop the other way into very fine dice. Next we're going to very finely chop the curly parsley. So just pull the leaves off. And we're just going to keep chopping through it until it's super fine. Ideally for the gremolata, you want the parsley, the lemon zest, and the very finely chopped garlic, all the same size. So keep chopping through until it's super fine. So next we'll prepare the baby squid. Firstly pull the tentacles away from the body and just pull the wings off on the outside. Give it a squeeze, just make sure you've got nothing inside. Cut the body into rings, cut the tentacles off, and just make sure the squid's mouth isn't still inside. So, our standard ingredients for a risotto, shallots and garlic, I'm gonna sweat them off in some butter. Then we've got arborio risotto rice, you can use cannaroli if you want, some white wine, some salt, and some stock. Today I'm using fish stock. So we start by sweating the shallots off. So on a medium heat, a couple of pieces of butter, add the shallots. So let these sizzle away, add some salt. After a couple of minutes, you can add some garlic. Again, just cook that out for a minute or so. Next, the rice goes in. Again, just give that a stir. What we want is for the, the rice just to start <coughs> cooking in the, in the butter. And then you add the white wine. Once that's been absorbed, then you can start adding your stock, a ladle full at a time. So once liquid goes in, you keep stirring until it's absorbed. Once it's absorbed, then you add more liquid. Good creamy risottos have been stirred continually for the 15 to 20 minutes that it takes to cook it. So once your risotto has reached this consistency, and it's still got that little bit of bite left in the rice, you start adding your final ingredients. You can add the squid ink, and then just stir it through. So the risotto goes black, Stir in the butter. Squeeze of lemon juice just to finish. And it's time to cook your squid. So for the squid, frying pan, very hot. Olive oil. Pinch of salt. So cook for a minute or so and then finish with a squeeze of lemon juice. It's time to plate up. So firstly, mix together the ingredients for the gremolata. The lemon zest, parsley, and finely diced garlic. Mix that together. Then the risotto goes in first. Sauteed squid on top. And a little sprinkle. Gremolata. A drizzle of olive oil. Just to finish. So there we have risotto nero with sautéed baby squid and a sprinkle of gremolata.